All right, we're now to our upper back, or known as thoracic spine. Now, the lumbar spine and the thoracic spine are friends, so it's kind of hard to move one without the other. So even though we just did low back, upper back is an integral part of low back training as well. Now, why I like this section so much is so many of my clients come to me and they say, I'm so tied up in my shoulders, I'm so tied up in through my neck. Well, how much time do you spend sitting in a computer all day? And if you think about it, so many trainers basically will sit a client down, especially if they have this issue, and say, go ahead and pull your shoulder blades back and together, which I call the funky chicken, or it creates more dysfunction. So by, by thinking that you need to pull your shoulder blades back and together creates dysfunction, and you, you can't move really very well when you're pulling your shoulder blades back and together. It, it stops your body from moving. So pulling the shoulder blades together is actually going to create more pain than good, if that makes sense. So with this portion of our program, this will get you actually moving in rotation. So if you think about it, take a step out with your right foot. Now, as you reach forward, basically with your right hand, your right shoulder went forward, or what we would say protracted. Your left shoulder went back. You didn't have to squeeze anything, you didn't have to tuck anything. Just by this motion alone of doing rotation, basically the fascia is pulling on the tissue and it's just simply making you rotate against gravity. So once you start to feel this and understand it, especially to get your thoracic spine moving, it will truly make a lot of sense to you. So once again, we're going to step out with the right foot, the right foot. So again, it's not a big lunge, but where's your range of motion? If you want to go deeper, please do. But all you're going to do is take your right hand and simply rotate to your left. And notice what you feel when you start to rotate, how automatically your left shoulder goes back. So you're kind of reaching below the knee. And if you said, this doesn't feel really good, then just limit your range of motion and do this. Now, many times I hear people say, I have back problems and I was told not to rotate. Well, I don't know about you, but I rotate every time I get out of my car. It's impossible to get out of your car without rotating your spine. So let's do about four more of these at shoulder height. Let's go. So reach four, come center, three, come center, two, last one, good. Now go ahead and reach below the knee. Feel the difference when you start to reach below the knee, good. Now you could do this with bands if you wanted to. That'll be in one of our other workouts. Four more, good, and three, good, and two, last one, and come in. So what that did is it got you to open up through the shoulders, the thoracic spine. And if you remember in our postural assessment, our guy had very rounded shoulders because he spends a lot of time over the computer. If you're that person too, this is what you need to do. So now the left foot's out in front. Why am I splitting the legs, okay? Well, let's just feel this for a minute. If you're that person that has the tucked under tucked under glutes and the flat back. So if this is you, you've lost your curvature, your extension, if you will, in your lumbar spine. If you try to do this motion with your butt tucked under, then you have very little range of motion. So we really essentially have to open up the hips so that you create a little bit of lordosis in that lower back so you start to have range of motion. So as you do this, you can have your left foot in front, you can have your right foot in front. There really isn't a wrong or right, but you will feel the difference. So as you reach, let's go to shoulder height, and let's just start here with an easy range of motion. Notice what you start to feel in this right shoulder. It starts to open up. So many of my clients work over a computer all day long, and I tell them to do this, and they go, wow, all of a sudden, my back pain is starting to feel a lot better. So just now reach below the knee. Let's go four more. Good, and three. Good, and two. One more time, come in. So right now you're going, okay, I'm starting to get a little bit looser. Doesn't that feel better than sitting down on a piece of equipment, pulling your shoulder blades together, and, per and the perception of working the upper back? 
Same thing, if you're doing a lot of these pull-down exercises, it creates more of this, and this is why people have such neck issues. Let's go ahead and take that right foot out in front again. Now this one's a little bit more intense because it's going to combine the movement that we just did. Right hand goes to the ceiling, lift up through the abdominals, and simply lean to the side. As you lean to the side, kind of feel how you're lengthening in through the side of the body. So we're just doing some lateral flexion here. The, the upper back is going, wow, this feels great. And in this position of my legs, it, it frees up the back to move. It's not very comfortable with both feet together. Good, one more time and come back. Now, take your left arm, come across. Remember we just did this, right? You may not feel a whole lot going on here, but if we were to say, let's combine both, both motions. So right hand goes up, left hand comes across. Now, for the first few, once again, I want you to look to me. Move your body, if you will, around your head. Just do a few more of these. Now notice the difference. Look in the direction you're going. And you might find that you go a little bit further when you start turning your neck towards the right. Towards the right. And again, limit your range of motion to what feels better to you. So keep looking in that direction. Four more. Three. Good. And two. One more. Come back in. Good job. Now, switching sides, once again, we always feel that we have one side that moves better than the other. So just laterally flex to your right, come back. So again, this is my tighter side. My left side is much tighter than my right. So for me, this movement might take a little bit longer than it did on the opposite because I supinate on this foot. So if you're the supinator, this is an exercise really designed to open up through the thoracic spine. One more time. Last one, come center. Now take that right arm, reach across. Once again, you can look at me or look in the direction you're going and there's such a difference in where you're looking. Good, two more times, one more time. Let's combine both motions. So you're gonna reach over to your right and rotate to your left. Look at me for the first few as you rotate. Let's do about four more. Four, rotates, good, and three. Good, and two, one more. Now look in the direction you're going. Reach, come back to center. Open up through the shoulders, good. Two more times, good. One more time, last one, and come in. So you're probably going, wow, I'm really feeling like I'm opening up in my back. Now, let's use the wall as an assistant. So essentially, we're gonna take our right hand up on the wall, and again, our right foot is gonna be out in front, and I want you to just gently place your hand on the wall if you can do this comfortably and start to push through your hips. So start to slide side to side so you are moving a little bit through the low back. But now, go ahead and add that rotation if you can comfortably. To intensify it, you might want to even get in a door and force yourself to be a little bit more here which really opens up through the pectoralis. However, I'm going to say let's just start here and see how this feels to you. So you're really gonna drive through your hips and rotate through your spine. So drive through those hips, let those hips move, knees are soft. Good, two more. One more time, this is our last one. Good, and then just hold it, good. Now give me just a little bit of a reach and then go ahead and come back. Once again, this really opens up the thoracic spine. Now, with the other side, again, you're here and you're just going to go ahead and reach through and come back. So it's good that you're actually seeing the back side of this now. So you're going to open, come back in, come across, back in, good, four more, and in, three. Which side? You go a little bit further, four, and just hold it right there. So give me a nice big lengthening through here and go ahead and come on in. So once again, the hips are involved, the upper back is involved, and it's cool. Now, facing the wall, I love doing this one, especially with people that go, oh man, I'm afraid to rotate. But if you were to just do a little simple touch from side to side, you're actually getting your thoracic spine to rotate. So start to just move side to side at shoulder height, shoulder height, and then attempt to go a little bit further. Why I use the wall is for a reference. Now go a little bit higher. So add that rotation a little bit higher 
little higher, little higher, little higher. Keep reaching, keep reaching, moving through your hips. Now reach about knee height, go side to side. So your verticality is about knee height right now. Let the hips move. Now come back up, keep reaching, shoulder height, good. You're coming across, getting that spine to move. Now, for the fun of it, reach the same side, reach down. What does this translate to? Life, to life. Now come to shoulder, and now go over the head. We're always getting things out of our shelves, and all this kind of stuff. Good, a couple more times, last one, and come in. Now, if we go back to the very first program where we did all of our lunges, think about if you're doing your lunges. So let's just do a quick review on this. So lunge forward with your right and come home. Now you know, gosh, I can start to add rotation to my lunge, which once again, what's that gonna do for your thoracic spine? It gets it mo moving, especially when you take this shoulder and you reach it behind you. Now, you can also just do a toe tap, which we're gonna do now. So take your right leg and just tap it out and come in. And now I want you to start to rotate in the opposite direction. Opposite direction, which winds up the hip. Opposite direction. So tap over, come center, tap over, come center. Two more times. Our focus here is to get you to open up. Now, if you don't have a wall that you can work on, here you go. This is something you can do after sitting at a computer all day. Let's do the other side. Once again, just give me a little toe tap and come back in. Toe tap, come in. A little toe tap, come in. Good. How far can you get that thoracic spine to kind of reach and come in? Good. And you're really winding up your obliques two more times. One more time. This is our last one. And come in. Remember, this program is about being pain-free, right? So if you're that person that sits over the computer all day and you start to have neck issues and back issues, you can simply get up and start doing these rotational movements and these reaches and you'll go, wow, I'm starting to feel a lot better and I have better mobility. The next program we're going to, which also combines thoracic spine, is shoulders, elbows. So I think you're gonna like that one too.